Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be going over events. Now, I did set up a couple things up here, which I'll go over really briefly here. Uh, but once again, if you're having some troubles, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. So the first things first that I set up here is we need to go ahead and say git proxy .git plugin manager register listeners this being the main class and then the events class which we have created here which also implements listener pretty similar to spigot or bucket um you know they do share a lot of the same um formalities i guess and construction um and construction styles i guess is the word i'm, tr I'm trying to say i'm tr there's a better w phrase for it um but anyway and we also went ahead and made a private static of our main class here so we can access it in other classes so so the bungee cord api does not really have that many events. Um, as you can see here, these are all the events that the Bungie Cord API has. So you don't have uh, you don't have much to learn. Um, it's just a matter of honing your skills to use these as best as possible. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go over a simple uh, post login event. So first things first, similar to bucket event handler, and we're just going to go ahead and say public void post login event post login event event and what we're going to say is we're just going to go ahead and get uh, proxy player player equals event dot get player okay so now that we have the player we can go ahead and just simply send them a message so we can say player dot send message new text component and we can say chat color dot uh, I don't know let's do blue plus welcome to the server and I don't really want blue you know what I want I want a, a nice aqua dark aqua that's one of my favorite colors in this game dark aqua all right so now we have that and we'll also go ahead and do another one here and we'll see an event handler and this one's going to be public void player dis connect and now you can do a lot with this one um, so for instance sorry I thought all that noise it's just my desk it's missing a screw you could go ahead and reach a bunch of databases and set all their information instead of doing it on you know the actual server side um, using up some resources there you could just go ahead and do it on Bungie because you can get access to uh, you know all the players information so we can go ahead and do you know player that get unique ID um, you can do everything so don't worry about that right now but that's just some of the things you can do with this uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and say player disconnect event event and we're just gonna do something really simple here we're just gonna go ahead and say oops oops we haven't uh, added this so we're just gonna go ahead and say private bungee main plugin equals bungee main dot get instance now again, this is not the best way to do it, but it's just the way I do it because it's simple and fast. So then we're going to send say plugin that get logger dot info, and we're just going to go ahead and say event dot player dot get display name dot has disconnected. Super sad face. Super sad. Okay, now we can go ahead and export this. So bungee cord plugin. We'll just go ahead and build that. We'll turn this one off. Okay. So now if we go ahead to our server here, so Bungie, start Bungie, and our server, we can join. And as you can see, welcome to the server. It's just giving us a nice little welcome message. Now to get rid of that bucket one, you'd have to do that on the actual server um, because, uh, well, this Bungie Accord API is not going to work within uh, the Bungie side of the server, so you have to add that to a different plugin to get rid of that message, or if there's a default option to get rid of the welcome message i'm not entirely sure uh, but now if we go ahead and disconnect bunch of chord plugin malikity music has disconnected sad face so that is the gist of learning how to use the bunch of chord events um, now obviously in the future we'll go over some more complicated uh events uh we'll probably i'll probably make a video about individual events in the future um but yeah so thank you so much for watching be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time
Take care.